What's going on guys? The one the only water cool fool. I'm um, just giving you an update like what's going on and everything. Um, so as you've noticed the light is a little bit brighter in here and what I did was I bought some LED light bulbs from Target. Um, they're like 22 bucks but I bought two of them and I saved like 12 bucks. So I got three of them in here so if I turn on this one that should add a little bit more light and then I have one back here as well so this kind of has you know more somewhat even lighting I need to adjust the white brightness on here uh, because of this light bulb right here but it's whatever um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do the white balance at all, maybe. Because it is on auto, so maybe if I tone it down or whatnot. So that's just me messing with it. So somewhere on there. But anyway, um, so I cleaned up the gaming area as well. All my steering controls are back there. I cleaned my computer desk. The LEDs that I did have underneath this glass table, which my monitor is on, the tape is a piece of crap, like the tape on them. Uh, because of the heat of the LEDs, they just literally got so hot and just started to fall off. It started to fall off on the corners, straight, everything, and I ended up just saying, you know what, screw this, I'm just going to peel this whole damn thing off. Um, just because it was such a piece of crap. You would need to use uh, like 3060M uh, tape by 3M, really good stuff. That's what I used on my, uh, one of the older builds that I used, the NGXT Vulcan build, that I literally custom did everything, custom water cooling loop, radiator and all that. That's in the video uh, selection somewhere here or just explore my videos and you'll see. I tidied up the cables on the monitor stand as well, um, keeping certain cables free so I can disconnect them and disconnect them as I want. Um, so you know how bad and messy my whole monitor was. So let me move this camera. So now it's a little bit, I know it's not focusing, there we go, it's a little bit better. Like so, and then I look down, it's all clean here and everything, so. Yeah, so that is what's going on. Um, if you guys don't know, or just subscribe to my channel, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm up to 2,003 subscribers right now, last time I checked. Um, <clears throat> but, um, let's see, I got a new vehicle, got a 2016 Frontier, brand new. This, was the first vehicle I ever bought that was um, pretty much like zero, literally zero miles on it. So that was kind of cool and I'm kind of messing with the exposure and stuff. There we go, a little bit better. And um, so far, the little modifications that I've done, replaced all the speakers, uh, six and a half in the back, JBL, six by nines in the front, JBL. Uh, kicker tweeters are in the front. I will be doing kind of like a video tour of what I've done to my vehicle so you guys can see it. I've also put a Joying, J-O-Y-I-N-G, Android head unit in. It is running 5.1.1 Lollipop. And when my LTE or data is working on my phone, for, for some reason Sprint's not working right now, I can use a hotspot and have that hotspot go from my phone to my head unit so I can use Google Maps, I can uh, watch YouTube. If I'm just chilling out in the parking lot before I go to work, I can use Amazon Music, Amazon Videos, pretty much everything. It's pretty uh, awesome, I have to say. Next thing I'll probably do will be a, um, probably do a K &N or K either k and air intake or a Nismo air intake on the, on the, on the Frontier. And then um, after that, maybe an amplifier for the speakers that I got uh, later on down the road. Um, I am going to have surgery November 7th. That's the scheduled day. 
I have to go to the doctors tomorrow. It's going to be fun at the Denver VA and get blood drawn because of testing my A1C count. Uh, I am diabetic. Believe it or not, even though I may not look it, I am diabetic. So they have to make sure my A1C is no higher than 8.0. If it's higher than 8.0, then it's kind of a, a warning sign to doctors. Hey, we better not do surgery because of risk of infection and blah, 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 blah. So I'm probably going to be out for a week um, that Monday till Friday. And then I should be fine after that. I can't drive for two weeks, so that kind of sucks. So, yeah, fun stuff. I will be getting Titanfall when that comes out. Uh, as you can tell, at the very, very top there, I was a Titanfall fan, and I played it a lot on my PC to the point of where um, people said I was cheating uh, playing Titanfall for some unknown reason. Um, I guess it's because I did play on the Xbox One so much, I just knew the movement, I knew the weapons, and they said for me going from the Xbox One to here, um, i.e. the PC, somehow I was cheating because I knew the game better than them. Go figure, right? Um, I don't know why, but it is what it is. Um, I also have ooh, the exposure one. The uh, creative camera that I need to do some testing on. I'm realizing that um, this camera and the video rendering that it does um, from my PC and then trying to do it in the background, I'm probably going to end up having to build a dedicated stream machine. A lot of people are like, oh, it's not, you know, you can't, there's no real reason to do it. I'm going to call BS on that point. Yes, if you have the latest and you have the greatest of Titan Nexus, you probably don't need it because the hardware is there. But I have last gen Titan Nexus. Uh, they overclocked to 1.4 gigahertz. It's still not enough. Uh, the minimum requirement is that you have 8 gigs of memory for the camera that you're using. And also, this is more hardware, so it's going to be using more CPU and... Uh, you know, and RAM while I'm trying to play a game on a 4K monitor and then try to render it in 720p or 1080, it just ain't happening. I could tell you that right now with this camera, you're going to need a dedicated um, streaming machine. So you're going to, going to need probably an Elgato, you're probably going to need an HDMI splitter, have this audio go to the other computer i.e. the Blue Yeti mic, plug it, plug that in, and then play from there, and then kind of do a screen capture of what I'm doing, and have my webcam doing that on that computer instead of this computer. Um, my kind of idea, I thought it would be cr uh, pretty cool, was do the mini-me of this huge-ass case by getting a smaller Case Labs case, getting it custom powder-coated the same color, and see, I might be able to water cool it, maybe, maybe not. But I'm just saying you have the same color, same kind of layout and everything. I think that would be pretty damn cool um, for sure. But uh, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made a lot of content. I've been really busy with work and focusing on that. And then when I get home, I kind of just want to chill and relax. It's 9 to 5, or 9 to 6. And out of the Saturday and Sunday off, which is pretty cool. I would like to get into more streaming, but however, as I said before, um, I wouldn't be able to use this badass camera until I build a probably like a mini power PC, aka I guess PC limit power uh, budget, probably maybe four to five hundred bucks. I don't need anything too powerful. I just need something that's able to get the video and spit it out. So that means I would have to get another long ethernet cable and all that fun stuff uh, for this and then probably another power brick splitter for all the power connections and everything and I might end up using uh, one of these monitors that I have here for that PC and I might be able to fit this PC literally right behind the big kahuna that's right here if I build a mini ITX PC which is what I'm kind of thinking of doing. I've never done that before. I did attempt it in a Star Wars AT-AT, but then that kind of went out the window. 
So, all right, guys, going on close to 10 minutes right now. So I'm going to go ahead and close this video. Thank you, guys. I really do appreciate the support. I'm going to be trying to come out with some more content, um, maybe a mini, uh, mini PC build, maybe a mini PC water cooling build. And I'll go ahead and close it. Thank you very much again. I really do appreciate support. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe, click that like button. And you guys, remember, no matter what kind of day it is, always have a great day now.